Voyager is sending back terrifying data to Earth. The Voyager 1, NASA's farthest traveled space device, is at this point traveling across concealed regions of the universe. Just about 50 years after its farewell, scientists are jumbled by the frightening data that this notable space test machine is sending back to Earth because of what emits an impression of being a breakdown. Oblige us as we examine the odd data that the Voyager has been sending back to Earth during its aggravated space investigation. Specialists have been fascinated in getting comfortable with the area's past since the enormous detonation, and that is what persuaded the farewell of the Voyager 1 and Voyager 2, among other space missions. The Voyager 2 was in reality the primary space contraption to be sent off, leaving from the NASA Kennedy Space Center on August 21, 1977. On September 5th of that very year, Voyager 1 was shipped off around 14 days later. At any rate, how is it that they could switch places as twins? The heaviness of the two tests is 720 kilos, which was generally comparable to a little vehicle. Both of them were shipped off during a window of exceptional out-of-planet courses of action that caused a slingshot effect on sending the rockets from one planet to the next. They have, however, needed to move at various speeds and in different headings. On December 15, 1977, Voyager 1 had the choice to pass its indistinct twin. From that point forward, it has been our go-to resource for finding out about various real factors in space and related puzzles. The essential space mechanical assembly to do so was this one. When it started its Jovian imaging mission in 1978, it was around 265 million kilometers from our planet and sent a gigantic number of photographs back to us. The Voyager 1 finished an extraordinary 100-hour stretch beginning in January 1979, during which it caught 3,750 photos of Jupiter's revolution to produce a time-lapse film showing 10 of the planet's turns. It had gone through the Jovian moon system in February 1979, and following a month, it had identified the little ring surrounding Jupiter. Voyager 1 likewise made an exceptional revelation at the point when it found two new moons named Gangster and M. Therapeutic moves would be made to ensure that the rocket is ready for its flyby of Saturn and to forestall a potential contact with Titan, one of Saturn's moons. Voyager 1-2 found four different moons during its orbit of Saturn including Mimas, Enceladus, and Dion. Our specialists decided to end the Voyager planetary mission after the Saturn mission was done and sent both Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 past our planetary gathering at a speed of 325 million miles every year. In January 1990, the new mission, previously known as the Voyager Interstellar Mission, started. Some of the most popular photos in history, depicting the Sun and the majority of the planets, were taken by Voyager 1 on February 14, 1990 while it was 6 billion kilometers from the Sun. They are routinely referred to as the Nearby Planet Group Family Photograph. There were 60 shots taken by Voyager 1, bringing the total number of photos taken by the rocket to 670. Disregarding the way that Mercury and Mars remained invisible in the photos due to different factors. At last, the rocket's cameras were halted to monitor power and memory before its excursion to interstellar space. NASA likewise works the Explorer 10, Explorer 11, and New Horizons rockets. Before Voyager 1 passed by Explorer 10 on February 17, 1998, Explorer 10 was the farthest space device. Voyager 1 continued its excursion for a further 14 years before it at long last showed up in the interstellar medium on August 25, 2012. With not a single other space test to be seen, NASA didn't publicly report the accomplishment until 2013. Let's go to November of 2018. Both space tests have officially left the close by Planet Bunch. When Voyager 2 crossed the heliopause and entered the interstellar medium, Voyager 1 was measured to be 145 billion miles, or then again 1,550 light-years from Earth. It has kept on giving us critical information that no other space test missions have had the choice to unveil since it entered the inconspicuous region past our solar system. The space apparatus has spent the larger piece of its 45-year trip in space in great health. However, recently experts have found a couple of odd idiosyncrasies in its performance. Voyager 1 is currently sending bewildering signs back to Earth, giving the impression that it is questionable of its location. There is, however, a terrifying turn to the issue. Normally, analysts have pre-programmed Voyager to go into safe mode or sound an alert if it gets derailed in space. However, up to this point, its radio antenna, which sends data back to Earth, 
is by all appearances in readiness, albeit the data it has as of late been imparting is questionable. The other Voyager is working regularly, taking directions from Earth and conveying them out as well as gathering and sending scientific data. However, readouts from the rocket's communication and control systems don't precisely reflect what is going on inside. As indicated by a NASA official statement, what precisely is occurring on board each rocket that is going toward interstellar space, including the Voyager 1 and 2, has an unusual 12-inch width gold-plated plate that is stacked with sound and video messages as a backup in the event that an extraterrestrial species finds the rocket. The plate contains 35 Earth sounds, 115 life photos, an hour and a half of Western music, and good wishes from former U.S. President Jimmy Carter, as well as former U.N. Secretary General Kurt Waldheim's message. The things on the space DVD are kept in 55 unique dialects, so on the off chance that it was taken over by outsiders, they would likely be endeavoring to decipher the signals. Considerations that the spaceship is currently under the course of extraterrestrials have been immediately discredited by scientists. Voyager's ability to work relies heavily upon the performance, attitude, and direction control instrument. First of all, it generally keeps its radio antenna centered around Earth so that analysts can accurately get data. Besides, it controls how the spaceship is arranged. Designers observing out for the circumstance currently feel that the space apparatus is working as it ought to, which essentially adds to the mystery we currently face. Besides, none of the safety features intended to safeguard the shuttle from danger have been enacted. By Susan D. Mission Chief for Voyager 1, this is a mystery as is the standard for the course right now in the Voyager mission. The rockets are both around 45 years old, which is a lot older than what was envisioned in the mission plan. Additionally, it recognizes that the shuttle's engineering group will experience several significant difficulties in tackling the issue with Voyager 1 due to the distance between us and the space test. The hardships are extensive, largely because the space apparatus is about 145 billion miles away from Earth. This gigantic distance presents several complexities that the group should explore cautiously. A rescue activity is almost incomprehensible given the current technological and logistical impediments. Voyager 1 is quite far past the compass of any space mechanical assembly or fixed mission that we would be able to practically send. The space apparatus amazing excursion has brought it into the farthest regions of our local planet group and passed into interstellar space where it keeps on voyaging further away from us consistently. Messages received from Earth at the speed of light take almost 21 hours to reach Voyager 1's current location. This implies that any order or guidance sent by the engineering group demands a lot of time to be received by the rocket. This delay represents a significant test for ongoing critical thinking and investigating. Besides, once Voyager 1 cycles the order, any response or data it sends back to Earth will take an extra 21 hours to return. This suggests that two-way communication between Earth and the space apparatus takes an average of two days. Such a delay makes it incredibly hard to complete optimal arrangements or iterative investigating processes, which are often essential while managing complex technical issues. The engineering group must carefully plan and execute each order, expecting unique circumstances and potential results dissimilar to missions closer to Earth where specialists can rapidly send and receive orders. The long communication delay requires a more strategic and patient methodology. Each instruction must be cautiously intended to resolve the known issues without creating unanticipated problems, taking into account the extensive time it will take to confirm whether the order had the desired effect. The significant communication delay also implies that the engineering group has limited opportunities to collaborate with the space apparatus. Each order sent must be viable and exact, leaving nearly no margin for error. This requires extensive testing and approval of orders on Earth before they are communicated to Voyager 1. Moreover, there are strategic difficulties. The space apparatus itself is over 40 years old, having been sent off in 1977. The technology available, while cutting edge at the time, is now considered obsolete by current standards. The engineering group must work with equipment and systems that were designed and built during the 1970s, which adds another layer of complexity to the critical thinking process. The harsh environment of space has also caused significant wear and tear on the shuttle systems. Voyager 1 has been exposed to vast radiation, extreme temperatures, and micrometeoroids for over 45 years. 
these factors contribute to the degradation of its parts, making it even more challenging to maintain and repair. Regardless of these impediments, the engineering group remains dedicated to addressing the recent concerns. They are investigating various hypotheses about what might be causing the anomalies and testing potential solutions through simulations on Earth. This cautious, determined approach is essential given the stakes involved. Any inaccurate order could potentially worsen the situation or lead to a loss of communication with the shuttle. The group is also utilizing the redundancy built into Voyager 1 systems. Like many space missions, Voyager 1 was designed with backup systems to increase its resilience to failures. The engineering group might be able to switch to these backup systems or reconfigure existing parts to sidestep the hazardous components. NASA stated in a recent explanation that until the reason for the issue is better understood, the group cannot predict how long the shuttle will be able to gather and send scientific information. Regardless, Susan D. is confident that the problem will be resolved if it is something that can be fixed with the Attitude Control System, which manages the shuttle's orientation and communication. The shuttle's astounding journey has brought it into the farthest areas of our planetary group and passed into interstellar space, where it continues to travel further away from us every day.